Auto fuel. As robotics keep advancing, people are exploring new ways to automate tasks. This includes using robots at gas stations, which has proven to be a great idea. The Danish company Autofuel has developed a robotic system that eliminates human involvement in filling cars with gasoline or diesel fuel. Actually, the company started working on this concept back in 2018. The basic idea was to reduce potential exposure of harmful chemicals and fuel components at stations for both employees and customers, which is an admirable goal. But there are other benefits to entrust Trusting all work to a robot, including increased comfort and convenience. Why bother leaving your car in extreme weather conditions like scorching heat, heavy rain, or snow when you can have a robot refuel it without any hassle? Autofuel's solution consists of a modular robotic arm housed inside the fuel pump, along with a number of sensors and cameras designed to ensure smooth operation. The cameras detect the vehicle's registration number so the system can determine what type of fuel it needs. Another camera directs the vehicle to stop at a certain area so that the arm can easily reach the fuel tank door. That arm then begins to move, opening the door, selecting the right fuel nozzle, and finally refueling the car. And while it may seem that the robot moves too slowly compared to humans, in fact, its speed is limited only by existing safety regulations. Or the first law of robotics. Who knows? Himawari. Imagine a device that stays on the roof of a building and collects sunlight into cables the size of electrical wires. These cables are routed through walls and ceiling pipes to light fixtures that beam natural daylight into the building. Sound like science fiction? Well, it's a real thing. The Himawari system consists of a solar light collector and fiber optic devices. The collector collects sunlight as it passes through a quartz glass optical fiber, which beams real sunlight to wherever you want it to be. Compared to conventional LED light, which is a specific emission caused by a electronic energy, the Himawari focuses direct sunlight, so people indoors get all the perks of interacting with sunlight. They can even sunbathe without leaving the house. The device is equipped with an automatic tracking system to precisely detect the sun rays and constantly adjust its position from sunrise to sunset. It provides stable lighting in the room no matter if the room's on the sunny side or in the basement. It'll get the right amount of sunlight either way. Actually, such devices come in many shapes and sizes, and a wide variety of companies make them. Here, for example, is an option from Parents. The devices look different, but they perform the same function, beaming sunlight to where it cannot reach due to the structural features of the building. So actually, the idea isn't new, because people already had deck prisms way back. For centuries, sailing ships used them as a safe source of natural sunlight to illuminate areas below deck. Before the era of electricity, light under the deck of a ship was provided by candles candles, oil, and kerosene lamps. Yes, all that stuff aboard a ship made of wood. That's quite unsafe. The deck prism provided light while also ensuring that you didn't have to be concerned about setting everything around you ablaze. H1 It'd be nice if dog walking became a relaxing process for both the pet and the owner, except that cleaning up after the dog's not the most pleasant experience. That's why a device called H1 was created. It acts as a retractable leash, a flashlight, and an innovative poop catcher, so you can use it in more ways than one. But the leash itself, while very handy, doesn't strike you as something special. The flashlight located inside the leash is a useful thing, especially during evening walks, but also quite standard. So let's focus on the main feature. H1 comes with 90 poop bags, all of them biodegradable. One of the best features of this tool is that you don't have to pick up your dog's waste with your hands or even through a bag. Using a retractable holder that sort of looks like a selfie stick, you can catch the poop while walking your dog. The built-in flashlight ensures you won't miss anything, and once you're done, you can easily dispose of the bag without having to touch it. Video Ray Video Ray Project is almost a quarter of a century old and has produced an entire series of remotely operated underwater inspection vehicles. As of 2018, more than 3,000 of these vehicles have been delivered worldwide. They've been used for a variety of operations, including disposal of unexploded ordnance or cleaning nets for offshore fish farms, as well as inspecting infrastructure in areas inaccessible for divers, search and recovery, and exploring the ocean floor. There's also a modular version of the vehicle that can be assembled for specific tasks. Tasks. And yes.
Yes, this device is perfect for search and rescue, and it can work even in extreme conditions. Video Ray Submersible can go where no human can without any problems. Eels. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory has created a self-propelled autonomous snake robot designed to explore extreme extraterrestrial terrains. The robot, called EELS, was inspired by a desire to search for life in the depths of Saturn's icy moon, Enceladus. It all started back in the mid to late 2000s when the Cassini spacecraft transmitted images of Enceladus to Earth. Scientists discovered that it was active and hiding a salty ocean of liquid water under its crust. At the same time, the moon constantly sprays plumes of ice particles into space from its ocean. All in all, that seemed like a worthy object for detailed study. Eels is approximately 13 feet long and weighs around 220 pounds. Its 10 identical rotating segments use screw heads to move and grip the surface. The robot's already been tested at a ski resort in Southern California, on an indoor ice rink in sandy terrain, and the results so far are promising. Given the communication lag between Earth and deep space, the eel's ability to operate autonomously is crucial. If it encounters problems, it'll have to solve them on its own without relying on human assistance. To ensure autonomy, eels uses four four pairs of stereo cameras and LiDAR to create a 3D map of its surroundings. The final form of the eels will contain 48 small motors, which will provide more flexibility. Many of them have built-in force torque sensors, which will allow the eels to feel how much pressure it exerts on the terrain. This will help it navigate uneven surfaces in tight spaces like rock climbers do, climbing up or down, pushing against walls. robot could not have been built without the invaluable data gathered by the Cassini Research Station. It was launched into space in 1997 and was active for nearly 20 years, 13 of which were spent orbiting Saturn. The mission ended on September 15, 2017, when Cassini's trajectory took it into Saturn's upper atmosphere and it burned up. But before that, the station managed to collect 635 gigabytes of data and take 453,048 images. Based on this data, 3,948 scientific publications were made and the creation of eels became possible. Now imagine how much information the robot Snake will give us when it gets to the Saturn moon. Makita DWD-181 while a robot designed for researching distant space may make a scanner seem insignificant, the people on Earth have problems to solve too, which includes constructing and repairing things. This cordless surface scanner quickly locates objects in various types of materials. It can detect metal, wood, plastic, and shielded electrical wire up to 7 inches deep. Depending on the surface you're going to scan, you can choose the relevant mode. Also, the multi-detection mode allows you to scan up to three parallel surface positions. This helps to detect objects running diagonal. All the details of the analysis are displayed on a handy 4-inch monitor. The LED lamp illuminates the scanning area for improved visibility in dark areas. RVR RVR from Trailer Valet is a fully remote-controlled tractor valet that has already earned recognition in its field. Four models are currently available, which differ in towing capacity. Their heavy-duty Caterpillar treads and integrated planetary gear motors provide improved traction on various types of surfaces. The aluminum hull makes the structure as light as possible and also guarantees resistance to corrosion during the entire service life. The included remote control has a long range. It allows you to safely control the device from a distance of up to 39 feet with just one press of a button. The trailer mover can move in a full 360-degree range, making it extremely maneuverable. It's also worth noting that RVR comes with a rechargeable lithium-ion battery that provides up to 30 minutes of continuous operation. Depending on the model, the trailer mover may have different weight, payload capacity, number of engines, and of course size. But can such a small device move something really huge? Professional, expensive devices that move, for example, aircraft like fighter jets, have about 10 times the towing capacity of RVR. So it would only take 10 of these movers to move a small plane, and about 20 of them to move a Boeing. Pro Pilot Park Ryokin 
By combining Nissan's autonomous driving technology with its traditional hospitality, a Japanese hotel is transformed into Pro Pilot Park Ryokin, offering unique amenities for guests, including tables, four cushions, and self-parking slippers. Good thing this happens on command, not automatically. It wouldn't be very nice to come out of the shower and find that your slippers have crawled away to park at the other end of the room. This isn't the only project Nissan has used to promote their new technology, though. For example, they presented the Pro Pilot Chair, which stands in the line for its user, sparing them this necessity. This chair, or should I say transport, detects and automatically follows the chair ahead, maintaining a fixed distance and moving along a set trajectory. And if you've ever stood in a long line, you'll probably appreciate not having to do this, even if all you have to do in the line is sit. Netina. Yes, this is a very, very unusual invention, and yet it's real. Tampons, matches, and charging ports protrude from the integrated holes in these shoes because, well, their creator decided that this was how shoe wearers could assist on the go. The Natina collection consists of three models, each designed for a different purpose. The creator chose items that are part of people's daily lives and that are regularly lent to and shared around. And when you always have an item that someone needs, it promotes positive interaction. Is it practical? No. The designer wanted each of the items to be visible in an extroverted manner at the top of the shoe and for the shoe to be able to hold a large amount of the selected items. Does the result look odd? Oh yes, it sure does. Cup of Bug if you're an arachnophobe, you want a spider or any other similar creature to be contained as soon as you cover it with some kind of cup. There shouldn't be any gaps for it to escape. After all, you have to get the cup off the wall somehow. That's where the patented cup -a bug mechanism comes to the rescue. First, thanks to the nearly three foot long handle, you don't have to go anywhere near the bug. Second, the small retractable part allows you to reach insects crammed into a corner. Third, cup -a bug tilts the same way as a human wrist, which means you can catch insects even on the wall, on the floor or on the ceiling. Well, the tight-fitting lid ensures that the trapped creature stays inside and can't jump on you at the worst moment possible. Levante Startup Levante has developed foldable origami solar panels inspired by the Japanese art of paper folding. These soft solar plates are easy to transport, and they can be set up in less than a minute, making them a perfect choice for travelers who prefer to journey by water or live a nomadic lifestyle in RVs. But why exactly origami? At some point, Levante's creators took a closer look at this art when they realized how cumbersome traditional solar panels could be. By allowing the panels to fold, they were able to save space while maintaining their functionality. The creators claim that their solar panels can be used as awnings on watercraft when attached to a rectangular base. Moreover, they're capable of generating electricity even when folded, but of course in smaller quantities. Depending on the model, origami panels can produce 330 watts and 500 watts of power. The devices are made in Italy and consist of monocrystalline silicon cells with a conversion efficiency of 23.4%. When the panels are open and stay in the sun all day, they can generate power for appliances in a van or on a boat. The energy produced can keep a refrigerator running for 38 hours, power a laptop for 27 hours, cool the room with an air conditioner for 4 hours, and cook a meal on an induction stove for an hour and a half. Dyson Pet Most fluffy pets shed so much hair everywhere that owners have to put a lot of effort into brushing and grooming them, especially when the pets themselves are not happy about the process. Dyson has come to the rescue and created a smart home care kit for pets. The medium and long-haired pet grooming accessories suck up loose hair right into the bin. Unlike regular brushes, owners attach the pet grooming tool to the mouth of the vacuum cleaner and brush their pets as usual. When they're done, there's no need to manually remove the collected hair from the brush, which is very convenient. Renee 
Have you ever used theater binoculars? The art scene has embraced technology with augmented reality glasses now available for Broadway shows. Renee AR glasses provide a convenient before and after Broadway show experience while also maximizing audiovisual pleasure during the show. When the device is on, it greets the user and shows the best route to the theater. To reduce waiting time in line, the glasses offer an augmented reality ticket check-in service and then guide viewers to their seats. Details around the edges of the lens create an immersive show atmosphere blocking out distractions. Renee also work like binoculars, allowing a closer look at the stage. The glasses also let the user adjust the volume and select different sound categories, such as the actor's voice or background music. All of this is possible thanks to a bone conduction transducer. Augmented reality effects allow actors and the audience to interact more closely, blurring the line between the stage and the audience. Thank you.